stop complaining about what you don't have. Why don't you thank God for what you do have? You, you remember that one day when Jesus was, he was preaching fire and he was preaching all day long and Jesus was preaching and preaching and preaching and people was blowing him up on Facebook and Twitter and taking little Instagram shots with Valencia filters on it and, and there was, you know, Jesus hashtag fire and, and, and he was preaching all day and the disciples come to Jesus at the end of the day and they said, Jesus, the people, they look hangry. You ever met somebody, you ever had an encounter with somebody who's hangry? You know what I'm talking about? I remember when I, when I asked my wife, when I asked my, my, my wife's father for her hand in marriage, I took out my father-in-law. His name is Bob. He talks like this. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? It's Bob McGregor. I'm a man of God. And uh, I took him out to eat, and I went to go ask him for, for Julia's hand in marriage. So I did my little speech and proposal, and he was eating his lunch. And, you know, I told him, hey, I may not be a CrossFit guy, but I'm a man of God too. You know, I was like, <laughs> gave him a whole speech. And I asked him for her hand in marriage. And I'll never forget, he looked at me and he goes, you want to marry Julia? You want to marry Julia? He goes, if you want to marry Julia, feed her. It's like, what? I look at him like, is that a yes? He's like, yeah, you want to marry Julia? Feed her. It's really bad if you don't feed her. She gets really, it's, it's just all downhill. She's hypoglycemic. I'm just, but yeah, you can have her. Just go ahead, but just make sure you feed her. That's the definition of being hangry. Like, somebody give me a Snickers bar. I'm hungry. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody, you're just not yourself when you're hungry? Anybody got a little bit crazy when you're hungry? Be honest. Tell the truth and shame the devil. So the disciples come to Jesus and they go, Jesus, we're looking at the audience and they look hangry. And um, do you think we should release them uh, so they can go to Buffalo Wild Wings and eat and, you know, replenish themselves? And, um, okay, Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, but, um, you know, he said, should we release them so they can eat? And, and Jesus looks at the disciples and said, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you, 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 you send them away, what do you have? And they said, well, you know, Jesus, all, all we got is like a little bit of fish and a little bit of bread. We, we ain't got that much. And Jesus said, give me what you have. He took what they had. He gave thanks for it. Hello, church. He gave thanks for what they had. And that day a miracle is performed. 5,000 men ate, plus the women and the children. And if you go over here, there was all these baskets of leftovers. Because I'm telling you, God can do more with your little bit. God can do more with what you have. You ought to give thanks and everything because this is the will of God. Anybody thankful tonight? Anybody got the attitude of gratitude? Come on, you ought to lift up a shout one more time. If you're thankful for what you have, stop complaining about what you don't have. Thank God for what you do have.